Wi-Fi network activity can be analyzed to spy on users, as we showed in our last tutorial to spying on who's home or who's not by looking at data packets with Kismet. Now you can confuse these efforts with a tool like Noisy, which goes to random websites in order to hide your true network activity. We'll show you how this works on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Noisy is a Python program designed to generate random packets to disguise what it is you're actually doing and hide your activity from those who might be trying to spy on it. Now, there's a couple ways someone can do this. In one, if they're on the outside, they can watch for data packets and try to determine which network or which computer you're currently using. Now, Noisy can help with this by generating random traffic to make it look like you're there even when you're not. Now, if it's an internet service provider or someone connected to the network that's spying on you, they can actually see the requests that you're making. And Noisy will basically make a bunch of random requests that hide your actual interest in your real requests so deep in random data, it's difficult to determine or build a profile on you. Now, to do this, you'll just need to use Python, but there are some limitations to what Noisy can be used for. Because of the way it loads web pages, it can occasionally click on things that a person can't see on a normal website. But aside from this, it's still a pretty good tool. That being said, let's begin. Now to get started using Noisy, you'll just need Python. To check if you have Python installed, you can just type Python and then tack capital V. Now you can see I have Python version 2.7.15 installed, which is just fine for us to use the program so we can continue from this step. Next up, we'll need to install the one requirement, which is requests. This will allow uh, Noisy to make HTTP requests in order to go to the websites we put in the configuration file coming up next. So well, to do that, we'll type pip install and requests. You can see here that we actually already have it installed, so we can move on to the next section. Now, this will be actually installing uh, Noisy from the GitHub repository. Here you can see the actual HTTP URL that we'll need to put after git clone in order to get it, which is https github.com 1tay capital H slash noisy dot get. Now by running this, I can see that it's not an empty directory, meaning we already have it, but if you're running it for the first time, you should see it be pulled from the GitHub repo. Now we can type ls to see what is in our downloads folder and type cd noisy. And now we can type ls again to see all the various files that are included in the noisy download. Now, a particular interest is the config.json file. Now, JSON stands for uh, JavaScript Object Notation, which is something that we will use to store a bunch of different data about the way that the script will behave. Now, to open it, we'll type nano config.json. And we should see a lot of information about the way the script behaves, such as the maximum depth of clicks, aka how far the script will go into a particular website, the minimum sleep, aka how long it will wait before going to a new website, the maximum sleep, and then the timeout, which will determine whether or not we get stuck on a page that fails to load. Now we have a series of root URLs, which is where this will start from, and we have a list of blacklisted URLs, which will not be navigated to in any of the random hops. This means that even if we find a link to one of these websites on one of the target or root URLs, we won't proceed to click on them. Now you can also see there's a big long list of user agents, which basically sends out a random user agent pretending to be a particular device and operating system and a browser every time it makes this request. This will serve to confuse anyone who's looking for particular device signatures by injecting a whole bunch of random ones. Now here, we want to make sure that we're putting in a bunch of good URLs to start from. So it's advisable to make sure you don't include any that might get you on trouble in a particular network. So for us, we'll just type wonderhowto.com. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and press Control X and then Y to accept the changes and return in order to save it. Now to run Noisy, we just need to go ahead and type Python noisy.py 
and then tac tac config config.json. As you can see, this will immediately start visiting websites and it will continue to do so until we press control C. Now we can fine tune this behavior a little bit by specifying different configuration files. And by using the tac tac config flag, we can specify which one we want to use for this particular uh, randomized session. Now here you can see that we're clicking through a couple websites and Noisy is also going the extra distance to go through and click on links within the particular website we use as a seed. After a while, it should go through most of the different websites we put as a random seed. So you can check out the link to the article on the full setup of this to see the customized list that our writer, the Hoid, put together. And it actually contains the top, I think, million different Alexa ranked um, websites on the internet. So these are the most popular websites and it will go through and just click on them randomly. It makes it a much more random set. So I advise that you either create your own that contains a whole lot more different websites to go to, or you check out the article and download that made by our writer, The Hoyt. So once you have this going, you can cancel it with Control C. And if you want to look at some of the uh, more advanced capabilities of Noisy, you can type uh, python noisy.py and then type tac tac help. So you can see there's a couple other options like logging and uh, timeouts, so determining how long the crawler should be running. So those configurations will allow you to maybe set behavior to be a little bit less obvious that it's just a script running through and going to random websites. So that's all you need to do some of the more advanced configuration options. And if you want to get more specific, like pretending to be a particular device, you can go through the uh, config.json file and that will allow you to set some of these options so you can more carefully emulate a particular set of devices or one device in particular. As you can see, it's simple to use a program like Noisy to generate random web traffic within the parameters of our white and black list. Now, depending on our application, it's really important to set these carefully because it's not acceptable to be going to a bunch of adult websites or risky sites to click on like Tumblr if we're at a work setting. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you to everyone that's got us to 50,000 plus subscribers. We appreciate everything. So if you have any additional comments or feedback, make sure to hit me up on my Twitter. We'll see you next time.